have never shown my favorite project. Um, this one actually won me an award. Um, and I am about to enter it into another show. And it doesn't look like much, but it can be quite satisfying. And by far, it's the favorite thing I've ever done. Um, I call it a work in progress because we are all works in progress. I started it in March of last year during COVID. And I did however many cards I felt like in a day. And uh, yeah, I'm about to start working on it again. So I'm kind of excited. I've kind of neglected her. She's been stuck the year I was born. All of these cards have meanings to me. Um, this came from a book that I actually wanted to alter. And then I was a little um, too quick. And I kind of messed it up and I couldn't use it. Um, I'm bummed about that. 1969 is when it was from. I like that. And 1973 is the year I was born. So each card has meaning for me and maybe not somebody else but what I'm hoping people get from this piece is the feeling from it not necessarily the obvious it's like an art journal for me so the glitter in here this is probably on a day that I needed a little glitter yep there's a broken heart ouch it's stitched is that what it feels like yep um, that goes probably with it, that dark feeling, but there's light on the other side of the windows. Uh, this is, looks like, wow, I don't know, so many layers on this. Looks like alcohol ink, napkin, collage, paint, and topped with a Tim Holtz butterfly. Um, there's some blank ones in there because one of my friends said, it's really jarring to my senses um, to have it without breathing space. So when I entered it in the show, I put a, bl a blink in between each one, but I don't like it. I kind of like it jarring. Let me know your opinion because when I enter it into this next show, I'm kind of curious what I should do. There is like... 2,000 to 3,000 cards on this, I think. I found this at the thrift store for $9.99. And it had, look at that, um, patina on the cards already. And they were all blank. And this is what it looks like from the side. Not sure if I'm even getting it in. Um, so, yeah. I just, I knew I wanted to do something with it the minute I saw it. And I saw it as, at first I thought I was just going to use the cards because they, you know, looked good. But then I started doing it and I was like, what if I had movable art? Like, I'm, I got my, I'm jumping ahead of myself, but my first transition into art was through art journaling. And I'm forever grateful for that entry in my life because that's what started my whole art journey. It gives me goosebumps. If you look at my arms right now, the hairs are standing up and I have goosebumps because art changed my life. And I get a little teary about it sometimes and I feel so blessed. And it's art journaling that did it. So I've since painted big, huge canvases. I like to do four foot canvases. That's my average size because that's what the biggest I can get into my car. Um. But I would love to go bigger. I'd love to do walls. I'd love to do installations one day. But to think that two years ago, I went on a trip to Cuba and kind of like was in a self-healing, self-love journey. I had committed to myself to not date for a year and to be alone and learn how to not be codependent and learn how to be alone. And... I went there and I saw all of the walls and I came home and I wanted to create that texture everywhere I went, the layers and layers. And I felt so much emotion in it. And I don't know why, but I did. 
it, it gives me chills. Look at that. It's so, that place changed my life. And there was an artist on, there was nine people on my bus. I think nine. Um, and she was, some of the bus rides were kind of long into the inner parts of Cuba. And you have to go with a tour group to Cuba because it's a communist country and they just don't allow, well, they do allow you to free travel if you know how to do it, but it's very hard to get around because it's not, it's not, there's not like public transportation. Um, so it's hard and I, I'm, I'm going way off course here, but this is really important to me. This is who I am. So I'm kind of telling you who I am and where art came from for me and this piece is like a culmination of all of those things. So I'm just sharing a little bit of myself with you today. Maybe I should flip through while I'm doing this, if I can talk and flip at the same time. But um, I came back. So there was this woman on the bus. She was doing um, watercolors, like in like a travel kit of watercolors in a little book that she would sketch with a micron pen and watercolors. And I watched her and I was just like really fascinated by her. And then I kept seeing people doing like acrylic pour painting and it looked very doable and very easy. And so when I came home, I started doing that. I started doing both of those things. I got a little notebook. I wish I could find it right now. Um, it's very meaningful for me. So I kind of did that post Cuba. I did a little book of pictures from my trip. They're awful, God awful. And I realized that, you know what, I'm not a drawer, but I have something in me that needs to come out. I have something that I need to share whether it, look at this. I mean, it's so you guys, this is, this is for real. And then maybe not even with people, but with myself. And it was in art that I fell in love with myself and I really learned what self-love was and acceptance and learning how to really let go, like really let go and be free. And I mean, oh my God, it's just, it, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like <sighs> so life-changing. So I've always sewn and I've had like this piece in my collection for years. A lot of it got lost in a house fire, but I had some. And um, yeah, okay. So then I started doing art journaling and then that led, like I just kept buying new mediums. Each week I try something else, Posca pens, and then I would try stencils. And then I learned, oh, you could do art without knowing how to draw. And then I started, I mean, I paint four foot canvases, yet I can't draw a picture. It's crazy, but it seems like it's meant to be and a blessing and I love collage. So um, all of this stuff kind of came together in this. So this is a lot of gel printing, um, painting, watercolors. Some of them don't have anything because I haven't done them yet. That's why it's called a work in progress. I'm still working on it. Um, this is like the let the napkins from Dinah. I am probably saying her name all wrong. Dina Wakely, Dinah Wakely. I'm so horrible with names. I love those words, and um, I love that they create art that lets people become an artist, that lets people help get there. Because it was Jane Davenport, Tim Holtz, um, Dina Wakely some of the others that kind of led me to art. I, it gave me the confidence to start doing art and doing it easily with stencils, with stamps, with textures. And through that, I gained, look at this. Oh my God, you guys, I am seriously I'm freaking myself out here because I don't share this a lot, but it was through them that I found my way to bigger art and my own voice and my own way of doing things. And then I started doing fussy cuts and collage. And like, I mean, seriously, this is where I, oh, I fell in love with myself. I fell in love with art. I became confident. I realized art doesn't need to be perfect. It should just be fun. And it should be what you like, not what other people like. And I still paint that way and I don't care. So I have entered shows knowing that I wanted 
I, my goal was to win an award. I wanted to like get community. I wanted to, to challenge myself. Like, can I do this? And on my first show, I won an award and it was crazy, but it was an amazing piece. But I also knew why I was doing it. And it wasn't, well, the first one, I, I can't say that because it was partially for me. But then after that, it became like this challenge. And so I'd try new things. Um, I've never shown my big canvases, my abstract art, because that was like my heart and soul. And I knew I didn't want to really offer it for sale. So like this is Tim Holtz. Um, this is a napkin. This is thread. <laughs> I love that. And it's so simple, but isn't it pretty? And then with this, like it's, this thing is just kind of my heart and soul. So when I put it into the show, I, I did, you have to put it for sale. So I put 1986 for the price because 1986 is when I think I first learned who I was, but I wasn't allowed to be who I was. That was the year I realized that I was gay. Um, and I wasn't allowed to be. And it took me another 30 some years, 30 years to accept that because I wasn't accepted. Okay, I don't like this as it is. It's um, when in Rome. Oh God, where is it? All right, I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, I need to go through this anyway. I wanna ink it up a little bit with the distress ink, but my distress, oh, there it is. Meant to be. So see, as I've learned things, I feel like I've learned a lot in this, uh, I added a little ink, but I wanted more. Because, see, this is the thing. Art, the more you do it, the more confident you get. And the less you care what other people think or what the right way to do something is. There is no right way to do anything. Like, my life. Like, you know what? My life has been exactly what it was supposed to be. And it's because it was wrong at first. And look at another time. Chills, you guys. This is for real. This is me. And maybe you laugh, maybe you think I'm dorky, but and being all super emotional, and I do have a hangover, so maybe that's part of it. But I don't drink a lot, and I did drink with friends last night. I'm just sick of this. Um, just, you know, life is hard right now. God. I think I had, during COVID, I wasn't, I was good, because I was just doing art and just enjoying, like, everybody slowing the hell down, because I... I move slow in some ways and it was like schedules and all of that just went away and I was like oh finally I could just like be so anyway long story short this um this is a culmination so this is spray inks um not Di Diane Reevely I am so bad with those names guys delusions there's are delusions inks and uh I th probably with the gel plate. Probably. I don't remember because I all like go for hours and just I would do a bunch of the backgrounds and then I would have a stack of them to work with. So yeah, this is this is a spill and I just put the card down on it. And you know what? It feels good. It just feels good to feel the ink go into the paper. Nirvana. Uh, a friend was moving and she gave me some of these. And look at that. I mean, how perfect is that? I love it. So there are some meanings in a lot of this stuff. I didn't put anything in here that's frivolous. It may look frivolous to you. Uh, it has meaning to me, like Louis Armstrong. That was, you know, Black Lives Matters was going on. Um, but also, when I was a kid, I loved him. And um, I think that was him anyway. Um... Yeah, so I learned how to play the trumpet when I was in the fifth grade. Right before moving away, um, 1986 was a big year for me. My family ended up homeless that year. We lived in a school, not homeless, but homeless. We lived in a school bus, and it wasn't like the cool tiny home kind of school bus. It was like mint green walls, disgusting floor. Um, it wasn't cozy. There were no curtains. It wasn't pretty. It was um, horrible to be 12 going on 13 living in a school bus in the middle of a new place and being at an awkward age and already poor and awkward and um 
yeah, so I'm telling you a lot on this video, but this is like, this is the stuff that made me who I am. And it's all in here. All of it's in here. And what's not in here will be in here because this is where art and me, oh, it's just been a blessing and I'm so grateful and I will forever be grateful. This is, uh, I love this. The young woman was silent. Yeah. I'm not young, but, you know, sometimes that's just what you want for the moment. You just want to be quiet. But this is not quiet. And I think that juxtaposition. So a lot of this is just, a lot of these are backgrounds and I haven't altered them yet. But I ran out of time. I knew I wanted to enter it into the show. And I did. And, um, yeah, so it's not done. It is a work in progress, but I love it. And this is probably my favorite thing and I protect it. I don't share it. This is the first time I'm actually sharing the whole thing. I've shared pieces of it. I never talked about why because that show that happened, um, I got an award for it, but I also, it was COVID so they didn't do a reception. So I didn't get to, it was kind of disappointing not to have anybody's, um, like not congratulations, but like, interaction and people some people wouldn't even touch it because it was COVID so I had put a card on the side I want you to interact with me and then there was a bottle of sanitizer it was like their choice and I think this, the gallery put gloves next to it too it's like your choice you could either look at it or not but regardless it's tempting right all the texture you want to play you want to go into it so a lot of these come from my favorite Buddhist book it's called, I talked about it the other day, Offerings. Um, or no, oof, I don't know. I, I don't want to say that because I could be wrong, but I have a lot of them that I cut from that I like. I mean, it's simple, but, you know, somehow all of it together just works. And so a lot of these I don't even like. They'll be replaced or altered. It doesn't matter. So here's a lot of the blinks. I'm going to start from the beginning. I won't go through every card because it will take literally. People stand and look. Yeah, there it is. See, I want you to interact with me. And I should put the little entry number on that because it goes together. Um, yeah, because I didn't know what to do. So this is where it starts. Oh my God, see? Every detail of their journey, which is me, my journey. And see the soft, pretty colors? Because that's how I feel. I do. I am happy. I had a difficult um, couple years, but I came out of it so happy. I'm going to take some of these out because I kind of don't want so much. Let me know your thoughts on that. Space in between or no? That's my cat playing in the background, if you hear them. I love this. So this, I believe, is Tim Holtz. I'm not sure where she came from. I cut her from something because it's cardboardy. And that's Tim Holtz. I have, this may not be Tim Holtz, actually. I don't want to say that. I know this is. I don't know what this is. Yeah, this is, oh, I love this one. I mean, seriously, that's all it takes to make me happy. This is what I love about art. The feeling that gives me is, whoa is priceless so illustrations by the author i so so little side note is i wrote a book about all of this stuff but um i don't know i started feeling very vulnerable and uh, i kind of like i am right now doing this video but you know the beauty of life is in the vulnerability um so one day i hope to maybe revisit that love this card. It's funny. Um, I showed this to a very good friend of mine, somebody who helped me on my self-love journey. And uh, her dad gave me this book and I literally ripped it right up and he gave it to me to rip up. And I love it. The flight. Freedom. Because self-love is freedom. That's 
Oh, I love her. Oh my God. This was one of the last cards I did right before entering the show. It was one of the very last ones I did. And I love her. Look at her stepping into the water. Oh my God. Cut that from a uh, Dick and Jane book. And this came from a National Geographic. Oh, love it. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, I think it was National Geographic. If I'm wrong, sorry. It's just, it's kind of love this so when there's bells it's like an angel getting its wings and i thought with this the world needs who you are made to be i think of people who have committed suicide they will never discover that part of themselves or people who are in a depression and thinking about killing themselves um i'm gonna cry um yeah it's so sad because maybe around the corner, happiness was there, you know? Um, yeah, you know, it makes me sad because I think I was in a bad place. And what if, what if I had gone that route? Oh my God, like, I'm so happy now. It's scary. And I just think, anyway, pierce of heart. Call it courage. This to me means, um, you know, the courage to love yourself. It's a challenge sometimes, and it's hard to go through the work, but it takes courage, and it's worth it. And so, yeah. Showing art like this takes courage. I love this. Oh, my God. So this is like the pain taken from the past. It's kind of like the idea of the lotus. Like, the pain, if you... If you work with it, it will become a beauty. <laughs> I was going to say, did I just do, did I just stitch that on? I want to put it past me. Yeah, real key. Oh my God. His books. Oh my gosh. Let life happen to you. Believe me, life is in the right always. And I believe that, like, everything that happens, happens for a reason. Good, bad, all of it. It's doing something. It's altering your life. And it's beautiful. All of it. It's perfect. Just as it is. Like, no matter how good or bad, it's perfect. So I have a lot of work to do here, don't I? Transformation. This is kind of murky. I don't like the muddy, but it's fine. Life is muddy, right? <clears throat> oh my god, I'm getting all emotional today. What was this? I, said, I tore it off for some reason. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to leave it. I think I meant to alter this some more, but I never did. This is kind of a joke to myself. Um, I do tarot cards and I do a tarot card a day. And it's not a magic eight ball, but you know, I pull a card every day and it's like, um, I don't know. You got to take control of your life. Things can tell you stuff, but you got to let, you got to ultimately take the handles or the rain or whatever and, and do what you need to do. He that fears not the future may enjoy the present. Yeah, so this was a dark day. You can see it. I must have not been feeling great, but it was COVID. I did this whole thing in like, I don't know, it was a month, I guess, off and on. I didn't do it obviously consistently. I have three kids and a single mom. I mean, I have them half the time, but still, I have to do things. Oh, I love this card. This is so sweet. So that's kind of the point of this. Some days are bad. Some days are good. Um, it's life, you know, but you can't let the bad days bear, like take you down because there's a good day right around the corner. Uh, I bought this little, you know, those old label makers it's here somewhere. I got it at the thrift store that day and I just decided how fun were those to make those and it's like your mom was like you don't use up all the tape and you know <laughs> I don't know I think that's ironic 
I feel so lucky. There's no such thing as luck. You make your own. That's what you do with it, right? You can, wow, I thought that was funny. Discovering ourselves. This is the old library card. I loved it. Like, I mean, it's just perfect for the thing. This I never finished, but it's okay. Oh, I love this. This is another Rilke. Everything is blooming most recklessly. If it were voices instead of colors, there would be an unbelievable shrieking into the heart of the night. And look at this little sari fabric. It has like a little woman offering something. Um, oh, I love Rilke. This is from Dick and Jane. There's the matching. I don't know if I like that one. It feels a little plain to me. I, it's nothing is done in here. That's what I love about it. I can alter it anytime I want to, which is why I pulled it out today. <clears throat> Decided to do a video because I want to play with it again. I love this one. I love it. This is from a, one of those magazines that you get from the grocery store. With some little pink... So pink, soft pink is the color of self-love, so you'll see a lot of it in here. And this one's got sparkles. So self-love with some sparkles. And some of the backs are done too. Not a lot of them, but some of them. This is a napkin and a little charm. This is another one of those Dina Wakely and a napkin. Played Monopoly with my kids and I stole some stuff. Oh, this is cool. This is um, vintage. It's I bought it off of uh, eBay. It was a uh, I was looking for what you call it ledger paper and I found this one and I thought it was cool. It's from a train. It's like they recorded the train thingies, the comings and goings. These are somehow satisfying when there's just that texture. Oh, this I found at the free library is some, um, you can see it in the light, but you can't because you can't, um, I guess you could. It's a, uh, I think about my being a mother, even that is supposed to be, which is maybe why I wasn't able to live my, you know, my way of life earlier on. I needed to do that. And I'm so glad I have that. This is stuck together. What's under here? Just some fun textured paint. And that, this is why I kept this card. Look at that. That little streak right there. That streak made me go, that's art. <laughs> and it's true. I like this one too. So anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through this whole thing. I'll flip through a little faster. Stop with some words. Oh yeah, so this is where I already took the cards out. Oh, this was voting around voting time. Or no, I guess this is during campaigning time. Because this was, yeah, March last year. Vote like your whole world depended on it. A revolution is about to begin. Oh, I love this lace. So pretty. I only had a little tiny piece of it. <laughs> this poem is so funny. It's from this book called Rhythm. Oh, something of my heart. I want to be a Tarzan monk, one who is eco-friendly with nature. The sun would be my source of warmth, and the moon bestows me soothing waves. Oh, it just made me laugh. Like, I want to be a Tarzan monk. These are vintage postcards. I just literally took them and paper clipped them in. It's like a junk journal slash art journal slash, I don't know. I That's what I love about it. It's everything. It's everything that I love. The nature of life. Oh, yes. Me lovey drips, which is why I like big canvases. I don't, this needs something. It's too something. This is an old bottle cap I found while walking with my kids in my neighborhood. Leave it right on. I love this. Whenever there's gold, or like I said, gold, different colors of fabrics mean different things for me. 
There's a good self lovey one. I love these. This came from an old gardening book and I just clipped it off. You can see the back. Oh, and there's pages 73. 73 is my birth year. I think I said that already, so you'll see that a lot. I just cut it up. I used a little bit of everything. Like basically anything that came in my path. Oh, these are the words, be you bravely. I like these words. These are Tim Holtz. Also, I got them when I first started art journaling and I never used them in there because I wrote more than I used words. I was more big. and uh, But I love them for this. Some glitter. This came from... Oh, I think I put it in here. Yes, I, I should put it like this. I can be a queen, she said. These kitties are going crazy. And yes, she can. She can be a queen. I love this. God, gel printing is my jam. I just love it. And some glitter. You know, throw some glitter glue on your gel plate. May not be healthy for it, but it's good. Love this too. Just the texture. These are the ones I love and I will just leave them as they are for like breathing space. Bayside Betty's is one of my favorite little restaurant bars in Provincetown, Massachusetts. And I went there um, in March, right before everything shut down. Actually, I think everything was shut down, but it was somebody's birthday and I took her there. Love this feather. Um, seeing a noted because I had gone to so in Provincetown, there's an altered Mona Lisa on the wall, and I was just being funny and like seen and noted. I've seen it. I have seen Mona Lisa in real life. I'm not. It's fine. The purpose of life is to be defeated by greater and greater things. Because see, Rilke, he was, he dealt, he wrote a book called, oh, what was it called? The Dark Interval. If you are in a sad place or in a, know somebody in a sad place or you're in a healing place, read that book. It's so amazing. It talks about grief and what it does for you. Grief transforms you. This is um, Tick. I never say his name right, and I should learn it because I love him, but Tick Van Nutt, he's a Buddhist monk, and he talks about pain being compost for the soul, and his books changed my life also. A lot of things changed my life. It led me to look at grief and what grief does to the human and it's actually transforms and you can transform that grief into other things, which is what I think art does. Art transforms grief into emotion, which is then shared and it's like seeds and it spreads and it also heals you doing art. At least it did for me. Um, yeah, so this came from, I was married and this came from one of my old, Indian clothes because yeah so I had one left um, the rest of them were in the fire and I was done with that life if I ever need Indian clothes I'll go buy a new one a little bit of glitter leave a little sparkle wherever you go and you can see tiny little sparkles I was thinking about this like during COVID, everybody was like huddled up and not, you know, I remember, I think that was when I went to Trader Joe's and it was like, everybody was like, Ooh, you're standing too close to me. So I was intentionally trying to make people smile or laugh by wearing silly t-shirts or whatever. Um, love that. I think that was me wanting to be a mermaid. Okay, so yeah. We're never going to be able to get through this whole thing where I'm going to talk incessantly and then you're going to be bored. So I'm just going to... Oh my god, I love this. Look at that. 
is an old vintage something playing card. Inks, delusions, Tim Holtz letters or words, I guess they would be called. Love. Keeping the faith. Do keep the faith. Things change. Everything changes. I know I'm on a soapbox today, but it's such a like important thing for me to to say that because I know people that are struggling. I struggled and a beautiful thing came out of the other side. I'm so happy. I'm doing art. I teach art, if you can believe that. Um, share your beauty with the world. Don't let it get you down. You know, <laughs> I found this at the free library and I was just like transforming trauma. I don't know what EMDR is, but I thought it was fun. <laughs> the journey is the destination. Oh yeah, so there's some Jane Davenport. I think these are Jane Davenport pens too. Part of this was using up some of the supplies I had gathered in my art journaling days. Love this. I love the inks. My God, ink is like, oof. Ink, gel plate. Oh, I, I would love to try it on a, a big canvas and see what happens. And a little tiny scrap of something. That was obviously a rough day. This is alcohol ink. So one of the first mediums I tried, and actually what I sell, most of my art that I sell is alcohol ink, which is so weird to me because I don't know, is the first thing I did. Um, I started with acrylic pour painting, then I went to alcohol ink, then I did collage, then I put the two together, and then, which is where I kind of started selling stuff, and then I started doing paint paint in art journals. Like, in it, I have like five art journals in the last year and a half. And then I did, I don't know, I do everything now. <laughs> Not well, but I try it all. I dabble. But anyway, alcohol ink, I put this in here because it is, it's one of my scraps and it's the, it's really one of the first mediums I ever did. I'm quite good at the letting go aspect of art like anything that lets you be free and not constrict you so I'm not very good at watercolors unless it's for a background because it's too touchy yeah you if you let me make a mess then I'm happy and so alcohol ink allows that and then you can also control it to some extent I thought this was funny I don't know why it's just a fun one no meaning just fun beautiful Create the world you want. And this comes from a little Indian um, trim. Love it. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. A little sparkle. I love this one. That little bit of light in there. This is a picture that I took of Cuba, in Cuba, my last night, walking along the wall. I had wanted to do that, but we only had spent one day in Havana before and one day in Havana at the end, or maybe two days. But anyway, we never got to the wall at, at like, the right time that I wanted. We walked along this side as a group, and then we did have free hours, but, you know, anyway, I just never got to it. So my last night there, this was like one in the morning. We had gotten back from Santa Clara and I actually cried for three hours on that bus ride. And it was really scary because people didn't know what to do with me because I didn't want to talk, obviously. And I was quiet when I, I was feeling everything, my process. And I swear that's when art came is in that three hours of crying and really releasing some old stuff really old stuff. I cried and it was like, not just crying, like little tears. It was like inconsolable crying. They must have thought I was crazy. Um, they must have because 
I don't even know what was going on with me. I, I just felt a big release and I think I needed that to go. All of that old stuff I left there and this is that night and um, I walked along that wall until about, I don't know, middle of the night and the waves were splashing. At one point a big wave came and splashed on me, which you see the ground's all wet. It splashed on me and I laughed. I, I laughed and it felt so good to laugh. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, that's what I'm saying. These cards, they may look like nothing, but they all have meaning. So, Henry Rollins is quite the poet. I mean, you know, he's a singer, but loneliness adds beauty to life. It puts a special burn on sunsets and makes night air smell better. And I did feel alone. I was kind of scared to go out at one in the morning and, you know, but, uh, if it had been with somebody else, it wouldn't have been the same experience. I needed to be alone, and I needed to do that alone. And, uh, yeah. And the pink, obviously, self-love. I'm talking way too much. You're getting way all of my information. But that's kind of what I do in my classes anyway. I overshare because I want to connect. I want to help. I want people to see that their lives have value. It's important to me to have that. You know, travel's huge for me. Oh, we're going to get into Cuba, I think. Yep. So a series of these are from Cuba. Like, thinking of my trip to Cuba. So the colors that I associate. I can't wait to go back there. It gives me... Oh my god. It gives me such chills. This reminds me of some of the um, mosaics on the floors. And the walls. And the color of the ocean. So this is also a picture. So if you're wondering how I got these picture stickers... I have a sprocket. It's uh, I'd go get it, but we're already probably running really long. But it's like a thing that you could print pictures. And I just recently got it. And not recently. I got it like back at this point. And um, I love it. It works really well for like journaling. Especially I do traveler's notebooks. And I use these a lot in the traveler's notebooks because it's the perfect size. So these are like the old cars of Cuba. And this is another one of those film strips. But yeah, if you're ever in the, I love the texture of this. And I did write in one of those. This is my trip. I was in a pink one, of course. No, no, no. Hmm, I forget now. I think, was I in pink or red? And I photographed the pink. I don't know anyway. But that's along the wall. We went for a drive. Cuba gives me chills. I, I, I want to go back there. I want to take my kids. It was the most sad place and beautiful place at the same time. It's very sad there, you guys. Like, if you've never been. If somebody comes back from Cuba and says, Oh my God, it's so beautiful. They didn't see Cuba. Because, yes, it is beautiful. But that's not the word I would describe it. Tragically beautiful, maybe. But it's I, it made me cry. There's a lot of poverty there. And really sad. Like, people standing in line to get cooking oil. It's, it's not... This is like the ocean... It's beautiful, but it's like a tragic beauty. This is um, this is to remind me of my own dark spot, and I put that in the wrong spot. It's the first time using one of these, um, the little crocodile or whatever it's called, and uh, a little Indian bell or Tibet. But this is like the light in the darkness. There's always light in the darkness. One of a kind. We all are. Embrace it. That was Jane Davenport's tattoos. It's, it didn't come through all the way. But the Mount Mermaid did. I think what happened is it got stuck on something and I was going to use it. Um, so I had to use it quickly. I love this one. This is an old like flash card. I just thought it was cool. I think it's about t yeah telling time. This is I love. I'm telling you, ink is like oh, makes me so happy. I don't really like that. Um, this is another trim. 
tarot card. It's from the box I do tarot from. There's a little like a nap. Hopefully it's not in the video. I love the deep and the past. I haven't read these books, but the titles are what got me. Oh my gosh, I don't know where this little gnat is coming from. Spring, I guess. Okay. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. I thought this was cute. It's a vintage Valentine. Tulin from Rita. I want to be a mermaid. I love the circus. So, yeah. That's what that's about. I love the circus. I would have ran away with the circus if I could have. That would have been my life in the right time and place. I guess I kind of lived like that with my family a little bit. Like it never felt like, you know, I had a home. We moved a lot. There's a lot of marriages, a lot of divorces. And uh, yeah, anyway. So don't play with it. Kittens have <laughs> amusing times when with a ball they play. But as I lay it at your feet, don't treat my heart that way. Yep, it's very true. And this is that... Dino tape, dino tape, or what's it called? Rotex, you know, the punch thingies that you do labels with. I, like I said earlier, I got one with a bag of it, a bag of the different colors. These, a lot of them came from, oh, what's that book called? It's like Amazing Things to Cut Out. It was one of the first collage books I had, and I never really used it because I like bigger work, and those were um, perfect size for this. So if you want to do one of these, you might want to get one of those. <laughs> I think this is cute. It's from a golden book. Sorry about my cats. They're a little rambunctious this morning. I'm sorry if I'm being so personal. I just, you know, this stuff is important to me. It really is. It's, uh... So, my ancestors actually came over. It's ironic. I could be in the DAR and, you know, the Plymouth people. Which is funny because I grew up on the West Coast, but I live on the East Coast now. When I moved here, my aunt was like, yeah, we have somebody at the Plymouth Plantation. Oh, my God. I was like, what? My kids just went there for, like, you know, for a trip or whatever. And uh, sure enough, we must have taken the Oregon Trail to Oregon or something. I love this. I love texture. And I love it when things don't have texture, but they look like they have texture. <laughs> Another tarot card. Basquiat. Um, this came, I, so I did this crown from thinking of Basquiat because I had tickets to go to the Basquiat exhibition in April of last year. And I was so excited because people say my work resembles, like my bigger canvases are like a happy Basquiat is what a friend or some people told me at my studio open. Um, who became a friend and uh, so yeah I, I was really sad to not have that show anyway that's what that was about this is so Wizard of Oz um, yeah that's a good one I always liked you as you were said Dorothy very quietly yeah at our core, we are all perfect, just as we are. Make a wish. <clears throat> Taking a few 
few of these out because I felt like, you know, at the time I was pushed for time, but I have a little bit of time. So I might enter this into another show. I don't know. That's the Jean Davenport tattoos, and I loved how this came out. It looks so awesome. Her, her products were the first I got, then it was, then I found Tim Holtz, and then I found Dina Wakely. That's kind of how my flow went, and now I just kind of do my own, <laughs> which is the beauty of it. You know, you learn from others, and then look at that. I love this peacock coming. It's a good build up. Where's the peacock? So pretty. I love peacocks. And the stitching on this was fun. This was one of the first cards I did. I don't even know. I just felt like out of body experience doing this thing. I felt like an out of body experience. It was so I was so happy to find this and then start altering it. it. Made me very happy. I think it was like ten bucks. And the lady was like, "You're so happy." I'm like, "Yeah, I know. They know me there." <laughs> Again, Jane Davenport. Um. She's like, what are you going to do with it? I'm like, I don't know. Something. They always ask me because I always buy weird stuff. And they're like, what are you going to do with it? Sometimes they keep things for me. I love this. So, yes, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Because everything is imaginable. Like, if you let it be. So, anything can happen. Life is beautiful. That's the Dina Wakeley. I love this, the background of that. That's an awesome gel print. I love how I did that, that came out. I love how I did that. I do love how I did that. <laughs> Half the time, I don't even remember what I do. I just go. It's kind of like a meditation. This a friend gave me. And then she saw this and she's like, oh my God, that's my thing. So a friend of hers gave this to her that fell off her purse, her friend from Germany, and then she gave it to her. And then when she moved, I got all this. Right. She's like, maybe you could use some of this stuff. Sure enough. So she's happy to see her thing on here. And somebody gave me these stamps. I love them. They're cute. I love how it jingles too. I'll do a flip through at the very end. So this is one of the more meaningful ones. Suffering. This is a definition of suffering that made me realize... Um, non-attachment and that uh, this it's a it's from a um i forget what book it's from oh anyway i love the definition because pain is to be transformed into joy uh, suffering occurs from one's outside awareness nothing in the universe can hurt one no accident, no loss of a loved one, no loss of a job, no co natural catastrophe. And I had just recently gone through a fire. Um, I had a house fire and we lost a lot at my ex-husband's house. So my kids lost a lot. A lot of my stuff was still there. It, this was fresh in my mind. No terminal illness. Um, no, nothing can hurt us unless we allow it to. It's transforming the way you look at things. And when I learned that lesson... Um, and so that's the lotus for me is I've, I've learned how to take pain and transform it. And it says, do I hope you're in the pink awful soon? Well, what do you think? I found these really awesome vintage cards and I took this off of it. It's, you can see the background here. They're like on transparent. I have a box of them and I'm, I'm really stingy with them, but they're, God, they're amazing. There's this woman's, I, I bought them from an antique store, but on the back of it, it said mom's special cards. She had made them. They're really old and really pretty. So this is one of my favorite cards. Ones with bells, remember. Um, I'll remember. Anyway. It's not like you'll see it again. And there is nothing we can do to make her change her mind. <laughs> Jane Davenport again. I use very few products actually in this, but I did use a lot of um, similar things. So this time around, I'll probably add some new things. 
This reminds me of my son. I have a picture where he lost his cracker in his hair. And we were all laughing and he just was like so upset. Uh, only in the presence of these magnificent objects from antiquity does one realize that there is no past in art, but only an exciting present illuminated with the wise smile of the past. I was thinking about that, how we like to make things look old with like distress ink. Um, <laughs> but there's a beauty in all of this. We can do anything. I was thinking about that the other day. Like somebody could pick up one of my junk journals and be like, what is this thing? If you don't, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool. I thought this was funny. Lady curtsying and then girls like, you know, it's all okay. You could be girly. You could be, you know, sporty. It's, it's fun. Be all those in one person too. I love a uh, little book uh, ruffle tape thingy. <laughs> this is just me playing with whoever um, looked through this. I have made it my concern to hunt out this technique for your study, as I learned it by looking and listening. It's kind of like what I, how I learned art. I learned art a lot on YouTube and in books and going to the library and. Creativity takes courage. I love the simplicity of this. Um, and this is a card that I did use the ink on. I made it more. And uh, it does take courage. And then it gives back. That's the beauty of it. It takes courage and then it gives you something in return. Right. It's long, I'm telling you. This is uh, Jane Davenport's napkins. Oh, I love this. Gel print. This is from a date. Um, it's a napkin from Chloe Restaurant. <laughs> Don't go there stealing all their napkins now. Uh, it's my first vegan restaurant. I love vintage ads. And this is Sorry Silk. A lot of these I never got to decorating. I don't like it when the gel plate does this, the whatever that's called. I like it when it's like this. This is ink and gel plate. I often do paint and ink together on the gel plate. It's like my favorite thing to do. And <laughs> don't worry, be peppy. Sometimes we have to tell ourselves things. You can't stand on the sidelines in a place where there are none. I think there's a greeting card. Yeah. Or a calendar. Hmm. I don't know. Something. I love the inks. Oh my god. I mean, look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, something happened here. Oh, I stapled the heart to it. That's so funny. I think it must have come loose because I think I had it as like a tap. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. A little bit of washi. I think this is me telling me, like, love will come into your life, just hold on. That was a year ago. That's okay. This is a cool stamp. Look at that. So a lot of these are ink in the background or gel prints, and then I alter them after that. And a lot of them just aren't done. This is, like, the first layer. I just never finished. It's work in progress. Those are... I think this is, uh, is it the Delusions brand of these funny sayings? They're like snarky sayings. I love it when like little bits like that come through. It's so simple but so satisfying. I literally could do the gel press for hours upon hours upon hours. Heart. 
be brave heart. Expect wonderful things to happen. Have a happy heart. <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> I love this background though. I had to, I don't know. I just thought it was funny. His expression though, it's like, what? And Frankenstein, if you read Frankenstein, it is a deeply amazing, enlightening book. Oh, I had a copy in college. I took a romanticism class and we had to read that. And I was like, ugh, Frankenstein, what the heck? Read it and I had more side notes in that book than any other book I've ever read. And so many underlinings and like really important stuff. And my boss borrowed the book because she's like, wow. And then she got fired and she took the book with her. Anyway, he's like, what? Dream a little dream. I love this thing. I just, it's got layers upon layers of me and I'm sharing a lot. I hope it's not too much, but, um, you know, I truly am blessed and grateful for everything that has happened in my life, the good, the bad, and it came out in this piece. And that's why I'm talking about it. I knew this was like a healing piece for me. It was like, I had gone through all the healing work, but this was getting at the nooks and crannies. This is my favorite painting. It's in Chicago. I just did this puzzle um, the other day. Got it from the same day, a couple summers ago. Um, yeah, and I think this was like kind of hitting on some of the bits and it was showing me the things that have healed. I thought this was funny in my own head. Like, it, you know, it's called American Gothic, but it's like, <laughs> just, I don't know. Marriage sometimes can be like this. Oh, see, now this is funny because this is like early. Now I'd probably do some paint pen around those rings. It's funny how even since doing this last year, my style has changed a little bit more evolved. This is, I don't know what, wrapper from something. What is your idea of perfect happiness? A perfect gel mold. I mean, so some of this is just fun and me playing. That's not all so serious, but, but it is my heart really um it's fun it's it's just me oh are we at the beginning no when did i start uh oh something fell out let's just put it back in i think we are getting nope Oh, that's so cool, right? It's just an old airmail. I have a collection of these because I just like I just love it. I am gonna scan them eventually and sell them as digitals because I have so many great, um, great ones I'd like to share. <laughs> Tarts. Okay, now we're getting into Jane Davenport again. Dick and Jane. This is one of the first I did, and this is probably my favorite card in the whole thing. So in my head, I was like, oh, Dick, help Jane. Oh, she could do it herself. Go, Jane, go. She doesn't need Dick. <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit about my marriage. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go too much into that because, you know, I'm everything that happens, I'm grateful for. Um... But yeah, so this is about that. These lovely ladies demonstrate the ease with which this car converts to a convertible. And off they go. From I do to I don't. Away went the car. Away, away, away. Yeah, to a distant shore. And, and there's stories going on in my head when I was doing this. That's Cuba to me. And then she's alone. Again. One plus two is three. I have three kids. My heart. I didn't mean to do this one. And then I put it in. I don't like my handwriting sometimes, but whatever. There's no crystal ball. Wow, 
Wow, this thing just goes on and on, doesn't it? It just goes on and on and on. Sorry if it's taking so long. I guess you could click out any time. I think we're at the end, though. Have to be because we're back to the... I didn't take them all out yet. Oh, salam. They say salam in Arabic. And, uh... Oof. My little buggy won't leave me alone. That one is about Dominican Republic to me. You know, it's like all about the money. Even Cuba, it's like money keeps some of these countries going. And COVID was kind of kicking their economy in the ass. So that's what that was. Thinking about the poor people that need the economy to be open. Oh, I love this. Simple but nice. The story of the earth. Oh, I love this one too. I forgot about that one. That was one of the first ones I did. we got to be getting to the end. Oh, I think we are. Are we? What's this? Do we do this? Art changes people and people change the world. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I was trying to do like a crown on the butterfly. I don't know if that comes through. We offer ourselves the greatest potential for easing our own suffering. So true. <laughs> I just, I love astronauts. I used to want to be an astronaut. I wanted to go to the moon and I still love the moon. So all of these words, I love those. I'm gonna have to order them again. Dana Wakely, I love her art too. She's amazing. She teaches you how to be free and not care. And you know, she has this thing called cannibalism of your own art, and I totally agree with that. Right there, <laughs> you know, not everything is meant to be kept. This will continually change. And I don't know about that. But afraid to take too much out lest I not be able to fill it up. Oh yeah, so now we're back at the beginning. So now a little satisfying. Bits of me and a long way to go to finish. It's only like really not even half done. Can you believe that? That's like a third of what can fit in here. So yeah, it's time to start working on her again. I love it. So I uh, hopefully you've enjoyed and I haven't been too long, but I kind of wanted to share this. It's it's my favorite thing I've ever made. It means a lot to me and um, I hope you liked it. Hope you have a good weekend. Thanks.